Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to teach you several acting tools from the Stanislavski technique. The first tool that I want to focus on is the magic if. One of the most important questions that Stanislavski trained actors ask themselves is what would I do if I were in my character's situation? This is known as the magic if. In this exercise, actors place themselves in their character situation in order to obtain a better understanding of their character's given circumstances. After the actor has determined how he or she will respond if placed in the character's shoes, he or she can then respond more truthfully when playing the character on stage. Here's an example. Let's say you're playing Hamlet, a Danish prince whose father was murdered by his uncle. Now that's a lot to unpack, so how do you connect with a character whose life is so different from your own? One way you could go about it is by using the magic if. By using the magic if, you can place yourself in Hamlet's shoes to see how you would react in his situation. You can replace characters from the script with people from your own life. Given the circumstances, you may feel upset, enraged, or any other number of emotions. Then ask yourself, what do you want to do with all these emotions? Do you want to make your uncle pay for what he did? Or do you want to take a different course of action? You can then use what you discover in your rehearsal. The next acting tool that I want to focus on is emotional memory. With this tool, Actors recall a time in their own lives in which they experienced feelings similar to those felt by their character. They then use these feelings from these experiences for their given role. By drawing from their own experiences, actors are able to more naturally feel the emotions called for in the script. As a result, their performances become both more personal and truthful. For example, let's say you're playing a character who has just had a miscarriage and the script calls for you to wail. In the real world, you may not have had any experience with taking care of a child. If this is the case, then you can use emotional memory. You can recall a time in your own life in which you wailed and then apply the emotions from that experience to the character. Nevertheless, it is strongly advised that actors who use emotional memory should be cautious because it can be harmful if they recall traumatic memories or experiences. It is best to avoid recalling traumatic experiences so that you do not relive those painful memories. Stanislavski was also a proponent of sense memory or creative fantasy as he dubbed it to assist actors in expanding their imagination. When performing this exercise, the actor thinks of a memory and focuses on the sensory details of it, such as the sights, sounds, smells, tastes, and feelings associated with it. By performing this exercise, the actor is able to paint a clear picture of both the memory and the emotions associated with it. For example, let's say you're playing a character who is supposed to enter the scene with bundles of joy. You can then use sense memory to recall the best day of your life. Maybe it was the day that you got your dream job, or the day that the love of your life accepted your proposal. You then focus on the sensory details of this memory. Maybe the sensory detail that really triggers you is the sound of someone saying, you got the job, or the smell of the flowers that you gave to your significant other when you proposed. Now recall that sensory detail the next time you rehearse the scene.